Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, last video was our very first video, so we didn't really get a ton done. We were just kind of introduced to the gang. Um, we were introduced to, I'm assuming, who the main group that we're going to kind of be fighting against, the O'Driscolls. Uh, we went to the camp that they're at right now and we're kind of scouting it out. And we're just about to go down there and wreak some havoc uh, before I stop the video. So, so far, it seems like it's going to be an amazing game. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to get into the story. I know that that's like the biggest draw for most people with this game is the immersive world and the storyline. So I cannot wait to keep playing. Uh, so I'm not going to talk very much longer. I'm just going to tell you to please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And we're going to get right into it. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Micah and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. It's just so beautiful. Like, oh, look at the snow falling. I just can't get over it. I'm sorry, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't break your neck. Steep here. Careful. He even changes his posture when he's walking down the hill. That's crazy. I feel like my mic is really loud. Is that better? That was kind of quiet. Guys, I can't figure out these audio settings. <laughs> Bear with me, please. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Stay low. How do I crouch again? Come on, follow me. Yeah, but how do I crouch? Oh god, don't run. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Make the call, Arthur. Um, I'm gonna take the lead. Okay. I'll go first.
was that slow mo. On your corpse to loot it. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Okay, let's go Tell get some loot. In with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking. We need everything we can get off of these bastards. I really need to figure out <laughs> how to get into cover. So the X's are the dead bodies, and oh, you get less dark after you loot them. are also found in the item wheel. Use a tonic to restore a dead eye. Good work, Hold boy. LB to open the weapon wheel. Switch. RB switch. Oh, that's gonna take some getting used to. Select dead eye tonic and release LB. Back to the camp. We'll get what we need. Clear out. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Okay, 
so cigar. Hmm. What do we got here? Perfect. The plans. Can veggies. Is my chewing tobacco full? Use it since I have this one right here. But how do I restore the dead eye core? Is that something that I need to eat or drink? Kentucky bourbon. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. It's so cool Not having us all work now. together. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John. Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. So did the O'Driscolls have something to do with Blackwater? All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Get out. Kieran Duffy. Oh, I like that name. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Oh no, are we gonna torture him? I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Just because we're a bad guy doesn't mean we have to be a bad guy. I hardly know him. Come on, mister, P -p please You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna puke. I've only been running with them a couple of months. They don't tell me nothing, I swear! Are you trying to test me, is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Oh. I do not want to see him as a parent. <laughs> Don't make me turn this horse around. Sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the oh, boys. Of course. Oops, 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 oops. Get off. <laughs> Get off. Okay, hold X to remove the old Oh, yay. Our corresponding. You unlocked rearing. Don't hurt me, course. please. Oh, no, don't worry. They're real nice. Okay, I have to do that later. Where are we taking him? The cabin. Kieran. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> oh. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, Sorry. and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. They even have the crunching noise when he walks through the snow. This game is ridiculous. Uh, what does studying do? I don't know what that did. I'm gonna pat you. Hi! You're cute. Yeah, okay, boy. Alright, anyways. I'm assuming this P is for Pearson. We're gonna do a twist for my family. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. 
speak to your companions by holding left trigger to focus on them and using the interaction options. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. Oh. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found mm -hmm. enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Mm. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Ooh, I like him. <coughs> He's sexy. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> All right. Did he just call Let's us head out. I wonder if I will like the bow and arrow in this game, just like I do with other games. Usually that's my go-to. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. I speed as a companion by holding or tapping. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. This is eased off? <laughs> it still looks pretty bad to me. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Got riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Do we ever really find out what happened in Blackwater? Sorry, I'm a broken record, but I just can't get over it. Look at that water! It's crazy. See some of the ground uncovered here. Does that mean there's an animal? Come on. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Why is no wind bad? I would think no wind would be good, because then they can't smell you. Hey. But I'm not a hunter. So I see I something. Oh, shit. Oh, watch it. Just ran right into him. What 
we got? You've been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Okay. We'll track them on foot. I don't see tracks. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Okay. The gun will scare everything around. LB. There's no point setting off without that bow. I got Get it. Get down. Move quietly and slowly. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, where are we going? Oh, there's You see the tracks? No. I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks. Press both sticks to activate eagle eye. Tracks are highlighted on the ground after focusing on them. It's easier in the snow, but once you get they your eye, in, highlighted you'll be able until to track the nearly as well in grass habits. and woods. I couldn't see that highlight. I definitely don't see anything highlighted. Your scent is also shown in Eagle Eye, blowing in the direction of the wind. Animals will flee if they smell your scent, so remain downwind or far away when hunting. Oh, it flashes. Oh, okay, I see. It's just kind of hard to tell in the snow. See it. Wait, look. There they are. Are you Flip ready with R2 that bow? To draw the string. The further Try to hit you draw the, the string back, more damage your arrow will Quick and clean. Holding it too long. Take good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Quick. Nice. See if you can get another one. Did I do it? attention by selecting call while aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Interesting. Can I do something with this or no? I can get my bow back. Or my arrow. Okay. I think that's it over there. Right? When close, study an animal to discover information on it and its quality. Help quality is reduced with average or poor kills. Oh my god, that has to be so cold. <laughs> How do I whistle at it? This might be our only chance Damn it. for a good meal. Where'd they go? They're over there. Okay. Take two, guys. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> shoot it in the butt. That's not going to be good. I need to circle around. Oh, there's one right there. Can I get this one in the head?
shoot from there. Go around this way. Where are you going? Follow I'm going tracks. this way. smart and it wasn't. Fine. Okay. It's facing me now, so that's good. No, that didn't kill it. What? You should go finish it off. I got it in the neck. Oh Come baby. On. You're making yourself too obvious. I'm sorry. You sure your hands are okay? Nah, it'll be fine once I get on my shoulder. <laughs> your horse will respond to your calls as long as it is in range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Approach the back of your horse. Hi, baby! but you need to carry this dead Bambi for me. Not bad, boy. Mount you, of course. Okay. Let's go to Charles. Come on. What a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're stuck. What's going on? There we go. You can do it. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Look at all the dinner we've got. Huh. Animal carcasses. Oh, Sorry. shit. Oh, God. Uh. Okay. Nice work, Arthur. And old carcasses can be dropped off to keep Pearson. Us all fed for a few days. You the butcher knife? I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? 
I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Okay. Must be real hungry. Stay well back. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. now five six months something like that but he didn't expect this what any of this black water mess being up here ah sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong nature of life and i just thought you might have moved on by now you want me to move on no no not at all I just I know you could run it alone no problem I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Wow. We need you now. Poor Charles Poor is now. probably not had an easy Good. life. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. The Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. They're like a family. I love it. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take <laughs> nobody but him. Guys, I just love this. I love this so much. I've did nothing at all yet, <laughs> and I already know. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Got some food back, boys! Hitch horse. That's good. <sighs> Come on. Go Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow prop. Oh, it's pooping! I'll you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to <laughs> master. Excuse me. All right. Damn. It even. <laughs> it even has. 
has the poop pile on the ground. Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, I knew they did that, but I've never actually seen it. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, did you dumped on the floor there. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's still not, not too pleasant. bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. Uh, you know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> Unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on! What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! I don't know if I like this, guys. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! I feel like we should have listened to those again. Yep. When riding with the gang, 
double tap A to move up the location, or double tap RB to drop back to the area. Okay, gentlemen. That's so cool. All of you, according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to poke it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. <laughs> a spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After oh Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. What's Lenny's last name? sure you're ready for this, kid. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you going to ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go that back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Easy. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. What has our horse been eating? It's pooping a lot. Also, are the Pinkertons a different game? <laughs> I always run it down the hill. There's some animal. What is that? An elk or something? How you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Connect the wire to the detonator. What the hell? Connect the wire. 
Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, look at this new scenery. Is that a leaf floating through the air? Was I seeing things? I don't know. Be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Should be item mail. Select close with R. Ooh. Oh. Look at us looking like a badass. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find? More. You said it was fine. So it's my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? <laughs> oh god. How are we supposed to outrun a train? Oh my god. Here we no. go! Here we go! No!
this time, please. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. You got no way in here. Get up. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Okay. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here Not like go. the fuse. Unless you've okay. got a death Run. wish. I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just my. want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Um, excuse me, Javier. Am I in your way? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like Ooh, a valley. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oil Development see, Company. Get this Dear Mr. Cornwall, yeah, we are yet to I receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapini Indian Reservation, Amberino. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall, ah. Kerosene, ah. and Tar and the Leland there. Oil Development Company see? dated November 9th, 1898. Done. On receipt of the funds, Just a pile we will of process papers. with phases Bond? two and three I of the project so. and present you with a yeah. detailed report of Make our findings useful. within the month. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Yours respectfully. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some... Fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Have Jamison you checked all the company. drawers and cabinets? However, any news you have received yeah. of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would How urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, any so I certainly off? remain Nothing open to much business yet. meeting at your convenience to exchange Let's ideas and educate each other on it's our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of These the mine. These seem to be contracts. Arthur, 
Have you looked down the end there? And its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Well, keep looking. There must be something. I am looking, but will you let me read, please? What's in this cabinet? Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. Cigars that I can't take. No, this What's this? Got some. A lockbox that's not locked. Convenient. I think I got him. Nice. Well, um, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Can't get the cigar. Anything else? Guess not. Guess we're done in here. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. In. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Come on. Okay. Before I do that, I'm gonna loot all the bodies. Cut it out so you don't have to watch. Okay. Here we are. And go help. Oh, Mary Beth. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey.
Alrighty, um, as much as I would love to keep playing, I have to stop there because it's already been an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I know I'm going to cut some of it out because when I'm looting all the corpses and stuff, that part isn't in the video, but uh, if I keep going, it's going to be way, way too long. So unfortunately, I have to stop. Um, I'm already so in love with this game, you guys. I, I already have characters that I love, I already have characters that really annoy me, and I'm just really excited to like just keep getting immersed in the world and the story. It's just everything about it is beautiful, the music is beautiful, the landscape is beautiful. I just love it. I just love it. Um, okay, so, so far, um, I'm not, re not really sure what we've done to Dutch that makes him kind of feel like we're questioning him, because I don't think we've really questioned him all that much, but clearly Dutch is feeling like we don't trust him like we used to. He keeps making little side comments, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, we still really don't know what happened in Blackwater. I don't know if we ever will find that out. Um, hopefully this whole Leviticus Cornwall thing doesn't come back to bite us in the butt since I let those guys live. Um, but I really, I don't want him to be a horrible guy. I know we're in a gang and I know we're technically not great people, but he doesn't need to be a bad guy either, so I'm trying to keep it that way. Uh, we'll see how successful I am. <laughs> uh, but I really love Charles. And Hosea seems like he's kind of cool. And Lenny seems like he's kind of cool. So those are the three that I'm really liking right now. Um, definitely still don't like Micah. He always has like a little quip or a little sassy comment for us. Um, and Dutch doesn't really seem like he he feels like we trust him. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those are just kind of my feelings so far. But I am loving, loving, loving the game. Um, all right. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Have a great day, you guys.